Welcome to Smart Money. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sunny. If somebody asks you, what is the best insurance company in Malaysia, how would you know the answer? How would you even know which insurance company is the best? Surely there's a certain amount of biasness to it, right? Well, an insurance education company can help you solve this mega question on which insurance company is indeed the best. iBanding was incorporated in 2016 and is an independent platform that provides insurance education to the public. I have iBanding CEO with me, Luke Rojo, to speak more about this issue. Welcome to the show, Luke. Hello, Ibrahim. Thank you very much for having me. As I was mentioning, the biggest question right now is how would one know which insurance company is the best? How do you approach this uh, question? It's a very good question and it's difficult to answer because everyone will have a different opinion. Um, the approach that we took is, is basically looking at what the experience of the Malaysian people are. And here in our case this year, we looked at motor insurance. So we were wondering how can we find that out? Who is the best motor insurance company? And the way we approached it is uh, we basically went out to the public and asked the people who have insurance and who drive cars and asked them what do they think about their insurance. Okay, and of course, we, you've done this year after year. Currently, you're doing the 2017 survey. Correct. But there were some results from the 2016 survey, am I correct? Yes, so we, we're doing it the third year now. So in 2015 and 2016, we've done the same survey. Okay, let's take a look into this graphic that I have right now. It's about the net promoter score of the uh, previous year's uh, uh, findings, 2016 net score. Can you discuss with us what this is all about? So maybe for the viewers, so the net promoter score is a very important management metric to kind of find out how loyal customers are to a brand. So one of the questions that we asked is, how likely is it that you would um, recommend this insurance company to your family members or to your friends. It's on a scale from 0 to 10. And I believe a lot of us will have notices like Air Asia. Um, a lot of companies ask those questions. So we've done the same thing. And in this graph, you see kind of the result for insurance companies in Malaysia. Okay, so the green um, uh, companies, uh, they are likely to be uh, promoted by other friends uh, or families to their own uh, you know, associates. Yes. So in this graph, like the green is basically the Takaful companies and the blues are the conventional insurance companies. Okay. And interesting is for Malaysia, you see that the uh, Takaful companies are much more popular. People will recommend Takaful company more often than others. Um, the Why is this the case? Um, Takaful has been very popular recently um, because it's um, Sharia compliant. It um, has a lot of social... Um, mutual uh, benefits that conventional insurance doesn't have. Conventional is very much straightforward that you would have like in, in Europe or in the US. Okay, and with this in mind, do you think that the Takafu companies always now have an edge over conventional companies or conventional insurance companies? Um, I do believe because for Malaysia it follows the, the Sharia law. So there are some elements that are not so much focused on profit only, but more on benefiting kind of the, the community. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe Takaful will be very popular this year. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll take a short break, but when we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more about the distribution channels of uh, the uh, survey. Uh, don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. We are talking about how to find out what insurance company is the best. Just now, we saw the Net Promoter score. We just want to understand why that works. Can you explain to us? Yeah, so you will probably look at it. And interesting is that the conventional insurance company seem to be all negative, like be below 0%. The reason is that insurance is, is generally a boring topic. People, when they buy motor insurance, they don't brag about, I bought an Alliance insurance, for example. Okay. If you look at the net promoter score for other topics like airlines or luxury bags, if you buy a Louis Vuitton bag, you will brag about it. So that Louis Vuitton will have a very high net promoter score. Mm -hmm. So um, what it tells you is more about, if you look at the different companies, which ones would people recommend? They will boast about it, saying like, hey, I got a claim paid out really quick. They will go out on social media and 
and tell like um, that's the best insurance company that, that I experienced. So Takaful was very good last year. Okay, there's also a survey of the 2016 uh, that your company has done uh, regarding the distribution channel. Can I just pull up this particular graph? It basically talks about the various distribution survey. Yeah, so when you talk about the best insurance company, you also need to look at how did you buy the insurance because the experience will be different um, depending on the channel. So if you go into a branch and buy the product or an insurance, you will get a different experience if you go online and buy it. So now what lessons can we learn from this graph? So that overall, if you buy the insurance um, through a branch, um, people are much more happier. They kind of maybe know the people in the branch and then when they have a claim, they can go back to that same person. Interesting is, and especially this year where internet companies are popping up, a lot of startups are selling insurance online. Um, currently, it feels that, or the survey results show, that it's not the most satisfactory channel to buy from. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's something you want to consider that if you're not so tech savvy, you might want to go through an insurance agent because you still have that personal touch and a so lot of people are more satisfied. It's 2017, everybody lives online right now, but still when it comes to insurance, that human touch is extremely important still, at least for this sector. Is that what the survey shows? It, it shows that and it, it's growing in the other direction. So last year when we looked at it, only 30% uh, actually compared to insurance. So there was still that mentality, you buy insurance and that's it. Um, but now with deterrification and insurance company charging different prices, more and more people compare insurances. So the preliminary results for this year is about half of the people that filled out the survey saying they start to compare. Okay, let's talk about the 2017 survey that is currently underway. What, what is it all about? So basically, um, if you go on ibunding.com, we basically have a short survey that you can fill out. We're asking about your current experience with your insurance company. And this survey answer will go into the result of finding the best motor insurance company for 2018. Okay, so and who's eligible to take this uh, survey? Um, it's basically every Malaysian that drives a car in Malaysia. And we will check that, so we have fraud checking that uh, people cannot tamper with the results. Okay, and uh, before we leave this uh, interview, uh, who was the, which company was the best company for 2016, for that matter? I'm happy to share. So in 2016, Sharika Takaful for the Takaful companies and Allianz were the best um, companies that provided the best service and the most satisfaction to the Malaysian people. And again, this is based on uh, various parameters. What were they really good at? What was the highest score for these two companies that, that won the award? Um, they have been very excellent in the sales purchasing, so when people buy insurance, but more importantly on the claim side. So people were really satisfied in when they had a claim, how good and how smooth the process was. Okay, that was a very interesting chat. I've been speaking to Luke Rojo, the founder and CEO of iBanding. That wraps up this episode of Smart Money. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and also many of our social sites. Uh, also, we're offering awanireview.com. It's a paid subscription service. You go to awanireview.com uh, website to find out more there. I'm Ibrahim Sunny. Thanks for watching and goodbye.